this is a beehive, a man-made home for honeybees. On the outside, it's a simple box with a lid and a base and a hole for the bees to enter. But have you ever wondered what's inside? Let's take a look. Under the lid, you'll find a secret world of the honeybee that only bees truly understand. Bees live on wax comb that they make themselves from a gland on their abdomen. They attach their wax comb to timber frames inside the hives using more wax. The wax comb is made up of tiny hexagon hollow cells and depending on their use, the cells are made in one of four designs. The first and most common is the worker cells. These are the smallest of the cells built by the bees at 4.6 to 5.1 millimetres. They are made to hold the eggs that will hatch into worker bees. They are usually located in the middle of the hive, all bunched together so they can be kept warm. Worker bees make up the majority of the bees in the beehive and are all female. Worker bees take 21 days to hatch and normally live for five to six weeks. The next most common cell is the honey cell. These are purposely built to store honey. Honey cells are larger than the worker cells at six millimetres. They can also be deeper and are usually in the top part of the hive. They are also angled downward to make it easy to store honey. After this comes the drone cells. Drone cells, although not as common as honey and worker cells, are just as important. The drone cell purpose is to hold the eggs that will develop into larger male bees. Drone cells are the largest common cells in the beehive at 6.4 millimetres to 6.6 millimetres. Drone bees are outnumbered by worker bees at around 1 to 100 male to female bees. Drones take 24 days to hatch and live for between 6 and 6 months. The least common is the queen cell. The queen cell is the birthplace of the queen bee. Queen cells are almost never present in a hive unless the bees have decided they need to make a new queen. They are by far the most intriguing cell at a whopping eight to nine millimetres across. They are also built to hang in a downward pointing manner so they can be made extra deep. The queen bee's sole existence is to lay eggs and guide the hive to survive. The bees also build lids on top of the cells. These lids are known as caps or collectively cappings. Honey cells have a thin wax capping and are designed to keep the honey fresh and store for an extremely long time. Brood cappings are thicker and allow for a small amount of airflow so that the developing brood can reach maturity. Now that we have looked at the comb and the bees, let's look at some of the other things you might find in a beehive. As well as wax and honey, bees also produce a sticky brown substance called propolis. Propolis is made when bees mix saliva with beeswax along with sap and other liquids they gather from plants. Bees use this to glue the hive together and to seal up any unwanted drafts. Bees collect pollen from flowers local to the hive. The pollen sticks to the bees on their legs in what is commonly known as their pollen baskets. The bees bring this back to the hive and is stored in standard cells to be used as a source of protein in feeding baby bees. Sometimes the bees mix pollen with nectar from the flowers to create bee bread. This is used in the same way as dry pollen. Now let's look at the most interesting thing found inside a beehive. Eggs are laid solely by the queen bee. When first laid, they're only about one to 1.5 millimeters long. The queen lays these eggs deep in the cells and sticks them to the bottom. The eggs laid into worker comb is fertilized, but the eggs laid into drone comb are unfertilized. The eggs remain stuck there for three days before they hatch into larvae. 
a small worm-like form. The worker bee feeds these larvae royal jelly, then honey and pollen to ensure they develop fully. The grub-like larvae develop over five days before the worker bees of the hive cap the cells. Once capped, the larvae spins a web around itself to form its cocoon. It will spend five days in the larvae stage before it starts to dry out and transform into the pupa stage. This is when the pupa develops its legs, wings, eyes, antenna, and even the hairs on its body. Once this is complete, it chews its way out of the capped cell and is born. Once the new baby bee escapes its cell, the worker bees clean and polish the cell, ready for the queen to lay another egg.